Today we are going to be reviewing the Yes Welder MIG 205 DS. We started by unplugging our name brand MIG welder and putting this one in its place. We've been putting it through the paces and so far it has met all of our expectations and I have to say this welder is a great value. So you might remember our plasma cutter review, the Yes Welder Cut 65 DS that we reviewed a while ago and so far it's been going great so we decided to try out another Yes Welder product. And like I said, it's met all of our expectations. So for reference, our shop welder that we've been using for a while is a 120 volt welder that can supply up to 140 amps. And this Yes Welder on 120 volts can do up to 160 amps. So noticeably more power there. But on top of that, the Yes Welder will also do 240 volts. And running that, we can get up to 200 amps on this thing, which is pretty awesome. But we're not done there. This welder also has stick welding capabilities. And lastly, it'll even do lift TIG. So really this is a four in one machine where we would need four other welders or at least three other welders to do what this one machine can do. So this thing is really easy to set up. All you do is insert and screw in the MIG gun, you insert your ground, and then set your wire in there and turn her on. Again, I am no professional, but man, this thing is so easy to run. So we're not using MIG, we're actually using FlexCore. And the reason is we weld outside a lot in our daily use, it doesn't make sense to carry around a gas bottle. Uh, so these welds you're seeing are all flux core, which to me makes it even more impressive because usually there's a significant quality difference and I'm sure you can still get better welds even with this thing as you're seeing uh, with MIG instead of flux core, but they look pretty dang good for flux core. So here I pushed, here I pulled, meaning that this I trailed it and pushed the weld through, and here I let it and pulled the weld through. Not too horrible. The other one. Not too shabby either. I think I like the pull better, but that's just my hand stability. And another thing that makes this welder so easy to use and have minimal setup is their synergic motion. What this means is that all you have to set is either your voltage or your material thickness and the welder figures out the rest of it. It helps you get started and once you get going it's adjusting the voltage and the wire feed to give you the proper weld. And it does everything for you. So I know it ain't much but here's our first welds with this thing. Uh, this one's stick welding. I am no professional stick welder but right out of the box and this one's flex core. It's uh, pretty porous, but this metal was not very clean. Right out of the box, within minutes of getting this thing unboxed, it's laying down welds and it only improved from there as we learned how to use it and frankly got more weld time because I am no professional. So now we're trying some thin material. We have some 16 gauge tubing. So we turn the heat down as low as we could. And we're gonna see if we can blow a hole in it. So I blew a hole in it. Uh, it is just really thin and I can only go down to 80 amps right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna float uh, or hang out on my thick stuff, that uh, 120 wall, and work my way up onto the thin tubing as I can trying to control that heat to see if that helps. So you can see the hole at the front end which is where I initially blew through. And throughout the rest of it, we did okay. At the very end, I got a little bit anxious and uh, climbed up and blew another hole. But yeah, it can, it can do it. Just gotta be careful. So as you see, the 16 gauge, it's just a little bit on the thin side for this 35 thou wire. If you use 30 thou wire, which you can with this welder, you just need a smaller tip, uh, it will work just fine with that thinner stuff, but 35 wire, it's just a little bit too much heat uh, to sustain a weld in 16 gauge. Okay, so that sums up 
our quick review of this Yes Welder MIG 205DS. So far we've been very, very happy with it and it has earned its place as the official, unofficial MIG welder, flex core welder of Formula Jake on YouTube, TM, just kidding. And we are very happy with it. Uh, personally, I don't know if you can find a better uh, value of welder. Seriously, if you have projects that you need some quick flex core work done on, I, I don't see why you would buy something else, honestly. It's really versatile, it's so easy to use, plug and play, and if you want, there are so many options. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't catch yourself on fire. I'm good at that.